This is the USA M1DX. Packed really well. I knew it would be. I want to say like a leather. It's not plush leather. It's like really nice stitching. It's not just a case, you know. I mean, it's an ESP USA case, which I've never had. It's not like the hard SKB cases. It's just, it's like a, a firm, flat, leather type. And here we go. You guys, you're going to see it before I do. What do you think? What does it look like? Let me take a look. Yeah, that's nice. It's more of like a metallic look. Let's get close here. See how it looks kind of not metallic. So it's got the push pull probably to split the humbucker. It's got one volume, no tone. I can't stand tone knobs. They're just resistors and they block your tone. I mean, I want to go right from the pickup to the output. Original Floyd Rose. It's got the ebony fretboard. I really like the block inlays. I like bolt-on necks. I'm not a fan of the neck throughs. Handcrafted ESP in California. Now, I contacted ESP because I knew what the serial number was gonna be. And the 24047 means that it was made in the US in 2024, and there were only 47 USA guitars made, handmade that year. So basically, this was the 47th one that came out of 2024, the year 2024. So I have number 47, not of this design, not of this color combination, just in the year 2024. The ESP said that this is the only guitar with these specs, period. So let's check out the neck. I will do what a lot of videos don't do. I'll show you the neck width. Feels kind of like I've been as gem-like. The neck feels good. It has that feel of like the Ibanez gem type neck, like a seven BWH. It is thicker than like a, your average Jackson. As I started playing more through the years, I thought, well, I gotta have a thin neck guitar. But then I started playing necks like Fenders or an Ibanez gem that were a little thicker. And I realized I like those a little more. So I thought, you know, thinner's faster. It'll be better for me. Not so much the case if you've ever seen photo prints on metallic paper. That's what it kind of looks like. The neck is fast. It's ebony. It's that nice, smooth neck, the ebony. And I like pure black ebony necks. This one's got a little striping on it. Very minor right here from the fourth fret down to the 11th. It's minor, but it's nice. It gives a little bit of character. So it's not solid black, that's okay. But I'm happy to have the original Floyd Rose. It is recessed in the back here. Case candy, Allen wrenches, whammy bar. Certificate of authenticity. Printed on really nice paper. M1DX Hellfire with the serial number. Matt signed it. I don't want to butcher his last name, but he's the president and CEO. That's cool. Handcrafted in California. The bridge pickup is Seymour Duncan SD Custom. Uh, controls, volume, push-pull volume. Okay, so it doesn't split the humbucker. It's got the push-pull volume, which I like. Fret type is steel. Fingerboard binding is black. Satin finish, maple. Head cap is maple, head cap binding is black, 
Truss rod is two-way adjustable. It's not here. You'll have to remove the truss rod plate. Kind of don't like doing that, but whatever. Body top is maple. Body finish is called glass. The color is Hellfire. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.